Now, just what is service recovery? Any organization can look good when everything's going well. In other words, it's easy to seem like you're offering great service when there aren't any problems. But when something goes wrong, that's when your true character shows. That's the true test of service quality. Service recovery involves a specific set of actions, actions that customer-oriented organizations take whenever there's a disappointment for the customer. In other words, when there's a gap between the customer's expectations and their perception of the experience of what actually took place. Service recovery is more than merely fixing the problem. It's a combination of correcting the difficulty and taking proactive steps to help manage the customer's feelings. We want to raise the chance of keeping their future business, to keep them swearing by us, not at us. When a customer has a problem, that customer's future business is at risk. And you might think that if you fix the problem, that's all that's needed. Actually, there are two areas that need attention. Number one, fixing the problem itself. And number two, managing the customer's feelings and working to reverse any damage. In many cases, fixing the problem won't totally cure the customer's dissatisfaction. We need to fix both areas or that customer's future business is in jeopardy. Poorly executed service recovery can destroy customer loyalty. And one more thought. In service recovery, you're getting a second chance with the customer. Fix the problem the right way because there usually won't be a third chance. Why is service recovery needed? We've just seen a couple of examples of what could go wrong, and I emphasize these were only a few examples. As to why service recovery is needed, the answer is because you can fix the problem but still have an unsatisfied customer. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. I'm going to cancel my account. So there. Yeah. I got my cable back. I know that. And I realize it might not have been their fault, but I had 15 guys over and no game. I ordered a birthday gift for my niece, and it was supposed to be delivered on Monday, and it just arrived. I almost had to go empty-handed. When something goes wrong, that customer is up for grabs. If they're pleased with how their problem was handled, they'll likely remain a customer. If they're dissatisfied with their treatment or how your organization resolves the specific problem, they go to your competition, or even worse, talk badly about your company. It makes your competition a little bit stronger, while at the same time makes your company a little bit weaker. Not long ago, a bad service experience would be talked about only amongst a small circle of friends. Someone who was unhappy might be able to influence a few people into thinking your organization offered poor service. In the internet age, that small circle of friends has now expanded to include email, listservs, chat rooms, blogs, and message boards.